is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 3 of season 2 of Princess Connects. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I think she's a character I haven't seen yet in the game. Yeah, she does look like a character that I haven't seen in the game. You kind of love how I'm fucking everybody and fucking Yugi's face only was half. <laughs> Cute. That's not much. Uh oh. Oh, my, my depression child. Oh, my God. I, I still love her so freaking much. Uh oh! Help them! <laughs> hey, <laughs> Yuki! Oh! Yeah, she's there. I don't think you would have died under those. I mean, you could have still breathed under them, so you would have been okay. 
I mean, she would have probably died, like, mine from a sentence of a bookworm, and then she just would have been reincarnated into something else, you know? Her voice is kind of familiar. I just can't think of who. And that's Yuki. Wait, hold on. I think I know who she's voiced by. Um, what is your name? What is your name? Oh my god, I know it. <laughs> she sounds like Chino from... Um, What's the face? And then also, I'm trying to trying to think of others. Uh, not Ichiga. Um, my second, but is it Ichiga? No, Ichiga is kind of on his own. So, what the fuck is her name? Iski? No. It's one of them. She literally sounds like her. Yeah, it has to be baby girl Chino from Azura Rabbit. She looks kind of like her, except, you know, the hair difference. Hmm? <gasps> I remember the day I got her card in JP, but because I don't play the game anymore, I'm like, oh! So basically, you three are here on, like, scholarship. Well, you two, basically. Well, of course, something scary is about to pop out. Very obvious. Can I just say that sounded like that was right behind me? That? Mwah. <laughs> like, they literally went to the back of my head. <laughs> Fuck. And it's also funny because like last week I downloaded the game again and I still have my save file but then I also deleted the game like two days later. So because I'm playing like so many games I just started playing like um, Twisted Wonderland and then JP D4DJ even though I played that like last year but um, they're doing a collab with one of my favorite animes so. And no one knows if it's going to happen for Ian yet.
I don't think so. I got a bad feeling about this. Why don't we all hold hands? Like cast away. <laughs> Okay, nobody lose the ra the rock, please. So did you just walk around in circles? Y'all need to get out. Get out. And now she not answering, excuse me. <laughs> Poor Pecorine. Shit. Teddy. Y'all need to get out of here! <laughs> Kokoro's gone. What do you see? Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Owie, are you serious?
Please explain. Huh? What? Damn. No. adorable owie Excuse me. Yeah, I think so.
This was a sweet episode, honestly. Okay. To see one of the girls of a car that I used to have. Oh my god, I fucking love her. She's so fucking adorable. But if this chick is also voiced by the same person who voices, I think it's Itsuki and um, Chino. She also how I mean, because of the voice as well, if it is her, gives me, you know, um, the Sleeping Princess from the Sleeping Princess in the, in the Demon's Castle and such. Because she's very monotony and such. And, and that's one of the biggest things of why I love that show so much. And her voice actress as well. Because oh, she's just so freaking good. Between that and like Hasea and then everything else that she's been in. Pretty Gear Hell even too. Even though she's more in that show. She was more like hyperactive and stuff. But still loved her character. But I thought this was hilarious for a type of horror like ish like yeah i really personally enjoyed this one i think this might be my favorite episode of this season between i think for season one it has to be like either the last few episodes or the one episode where the yandere girl came in because of course i love the crap out of her too and such <laughs> so i am hoping and praying she makes another appearance later on in this season but still i am still holding out that my three, my I think it's my two or my three Garus end up making an appearance in the second season because it would be nice and stuff. I mean, you had like a couple of Idol Master Girls come in from last season and in this season, even though we're only three episodes in. So it would be nice to continue that situation. But you know, it's up to it's just, it's up to this animation company at the end it's, uh, at the end of the day. But yeah, I really personally enjoyed this episode a lot. It was very sweet wholesome a little bit of scares in there because you know your girl likes to you know be have a little well, enjoy like horror ish because everybody knows that i love the shit out of horror but i, I loved it how it, went. It, it was funny how at first like in the end first it was Aoi and then finding out that it was a simulation of memories from a kingdom that is no longer here anymore and that we find out the memories and the truth of it and such that was very interesting very tragic and sad at the same time kind of gave me feels to that one um the one episode of wandering witch um that is very it's a very very graphic episode because you're thinking oh this is gonna be cute and then you get to that one episode and you're like oh shit like damn but it, it, it like this episode ain't go you know that way but you know when you get like almost close to that but like oh shit damn but other than that guys let us my reaction view towards episode three of season two of princess connect if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys either next monday or next tuesday for episode four bye guys